I'm a sports physiotherapist. So before we begin, high performance starts with a warm up. So can you put your drinks down? Everyone stand up for me. I want you to face, face me initially. Put your hands on the person in front of you and give them a little massage. Okay, get loose. Turn around and return the favour. All right, take a seat. We've got to warm you up. That's the first part of high performance in sport is the warm up and getting you ready for tonight. We don't want any injuries. Exercise has been shown to improve your cognitive performance, memory, reasoning, etc. So moderate exercise for 20 minutes will actually improve your cognitive achievement, or cognitive ability. They've also followed 10,000 people over 12 years, between 35 and 55 year olds, followed them for 12 years and they actually showed correlation between consistent level of exercise between 20 to 30 minutes minimum it increases your cognitive ability and co negative correlation sedentary exercises will actually lead to lower cognitive performance so you exercise in the morning or at lunchtime it's actually going to improve your cognitive ability during the day clearly exercise is the poly pill for immortality and i heard a presentation uh, a while back by uh, physician that said some people in the room, he was addressing the room I was in at the time, but some people in this room will actually live to 150. So think about it, we're all between what, 30 and 40, 50 here in the room today. So think about it, that's going to be 100 years time. Some of us will be living from now. And if you think about where medicine's come from in 100 years and where it will be in 100 years, that's actually not surprising. Okay. <laughs> Imagine that, some of the managers will still be managing you in 100 years time. <laughs> There's eight characteristics that in my experience working with a number of Olympic uh, sports and Olympic athletes, over three Olympic campaigns, working with Wallabies, Richmond, Broncos, etc., etc., that this is, these are eight common characteristics that have been linked with high performance, in my opinion, across all of the athletes that achieve success. Now, Kathy Freeman had come off silver in Atlanta in 1996 and in 98 she was injured and I was in the UK and she was happy to see a friendly face, an Australian, and working through her injuries at the time. She'd actually strained her groin. Now 400 metres you know was her event. On the curve, you're running two 100 metre curves, the angle of inclination is actually quite significant based on the centrifugal forces to stay upright but she had trained 20 curves, 2,100 metres, and not surprising, she strained a groin, but she came in and I'm treating away and I'm saying, look, Kathy, I don't want you to do this, I don't want you to do this, back this off in the gym, I don't want you to do this, I don't want you to do that. And she said, stop. Don't tell me what I can't do, tell me what I can do. And from that day, it actually changed me as a physio and actually as a person because I now focus, yes, there's things you, you know you can't do and things you have to avoid, but focus on the positives and what you can do and clearly proof is in the pudding to her results. <laughs>